Hi, welcome to this edition of KB Time. I'm Kabir, your host. We're going to look now at CLE Social, opening Labor Day weekend in downtown Hudson, just below Dave's Cosmic Subs, and I'm going to tell you the significance of that at the end of this video. Uh, but right now, we're going to meet the owners of CLE Social. It's in the same spot. If people remember Preservation Records years ago, there was a video arcade there at one point years ago. Uh, most recently, I think it was a beauty salon. But now it's going to be a very cool space. They're going to have video game competitions like in that movie, The Wizard. So maybe you'll meet Fred Savage. You won't meet Fred Savage, I'm kidding. They've got birthdays there. They're gonna tell you all about it. Uh, so now let's take a look at CLE Social. Soulsby. And we are opening up a new little hotspot in Hudson here called CLE Social. This is a great classic arcade. Uh, it's not the traditional um, place like, you know, out there with a whole bunch of different crazy games. We really want to focus on the old school classics, Mortal Kombat, Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, all of those fun games. We also have a variety of 80s and 90s collectibles, merchandise, um, and memorabilia. Uh, available for purchase. And we buy, sell, trade. We do also buy, sell, trade. Yeah, Every sell. machine is for sale. We rent machines for parties. We have parties down here. And we also have uh, beverages, uh, drinks, chips, and candy. Non-alcoholic stuff. Yeah, there's too many barcades. Yeah. You know, this <laughs> is this, this is an arcade first. And it's a family-friendly place. Right. We it's want kids, we want families, we want at, uh, anyone of all ages to come down and enjoy it. This is a place for everybody. And it's what's so fun about these games, if you look over here at Galaga, per se. So, there's a couple of uh, millennials that work for us, and when I first got this machine and showed it to him, his first question was, so it just goes back and forth? Now, they're used to the, the controllers with two thumb pads, two D-pads, two four buttons up here and this one is just a simple you know back and forth as you can see it's on free play and this one is just two moves back and forth so from this just back and forth then you went to a four-way joystick you know for the other games like Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, uh, Turtles and then you come up to a Mortal Kombat where you have eight different positions to block. We also have that's four player. We also have all the original marquees that are for sale. Um, you know, they can just pull off. You want some? We'll just take it right down. Those are it. great for wall art, especially you know for a kid's bedroom or again a man cave or anything like that. Um, if even if you don't see a classic game that you know you loved as a kid, we can get the art for you and we can make one custom. So this all started with our sign company, Menor Signs and Graphics, and during the winter time. Production really slows down on signs, and it's like that until about springtime. So in order to stay busy, we started making arcade art. Uh, everything from the bezel, you know, to the CPO, to the marquee. As we, since we are collectors, as we, you know, come across new games, we're going to be able to swap them out. So there's always going to be some new titles in here. Um, it's not just going to be the same set of games all the time, which is cool. It might be cliche, but my favorite game is Ms. Pac-Man um, and also Super Mario Brothers 3, but there's no standard arcade of that here. Um, but picking from what we have right now in the store, um, I am loving Primal Rage. It is so much fun. I mean, what's better than being a dinosaur fighting another dinosaur? I'll fight you. Oh, you'll fight me? Okay, cool. And I just started to learn how to do this, so I'm not very good, but it's still really fun. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I gotta rage now. All right. You're really, you're really killing me here. And there's all these different like kicks and moves that you can do. They're all here across the bottom of the screen. I like the little people right here that are watching you fight. Oh yeah, and they're like, they're cheering you on in the background. Oh, he got me. But yeah, so that's Primal Rage. That's is, a lot of fun. Is this how you decide when there's an argument at home, you play one of these? Right, <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty she much. Wins. Yeah, I do usually win. So this is Cruising USA, and she's driving a Ferrari Testarossa, looks like. What are your thoughts on this? Um, I think uh, she's a pretty good driver. Um, she's had her license for about a year, and she's in first right now. 
Um, so I think, well now she's in second, but I think she got second. Sorry. What do you like about these uh, games that are giant like this as opposed to something just on your phone? Um, well, on your phone, it's a lot harder to see just because since it's so much smaller. But here, everything's got a good picture, good color, and um, it's also you're very interactive with the wheels, so that's fun. It's a good time. Now, seeing her drive in this game the way that she does, uh, does it make you nervous to get back behind the wheel with her um, in real life? Yes, it does. She goes off the road a lot. She swerves a lot. So, um, yeah, she can't really stay on the road. So since you're terrible at this, young lady, what would your advice be to people who are playing this game, Cruising USA? Um, don't turn the wheel too hard because it turns really easily. And cars are coming at you, so watch out for that. <laughs> so hard. I did an expert level. Have you been drinking? <laughs> she wasn't sure. Real quick, I promise the significance of Dave's Cosmic Subs. A lot of people may not remember, it used to be, for many years, a travel agency. Before that, I have right here, 186 North Main Street, Hudson Video. That's what was there before. This is a receipt. My father bought his first VCR there, uh, what would that be? July 16th, 1983, for $600. Now, the reason this is uh, significant is because it says lifetime membership. You could get lifetime rentals. I'm sorry, 10 years of rentals, something like that. And we never got those because not too long after this, like a month, the owner, and I believe his name was Steve, was caught breaking into another video store. This is what I've heard. I don't know if that's real for sure, but he was caught breaking into another video store and had to uh, sell the business to pay the uh, judgment and um, was no longer in the biz. So that is the significance of this place. Certainly though, all the businesses in that area since then have been far more legit and uh, I hope they last for a long time.